Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you here, I'm Liliana, and this channel is all about me sharing my tips and tricks about my cake decorating journey. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make this beautiful cake covered with edible lace. If you guys wanna learn how to make this, well, this video is for you, so keep on watching. Also, if you haven't done it yet, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell button so you get notified of all the videos that I put up. Without further ado, let's get to it.
beautiful cake, very simple to make. There's no flat flat for the cake itself. Basically, I used buttercream, crumb coat, did a second coat of whatever color that I wanted. I chose a light pink and I covered the cake with edible lace. The recipe that I use in all my videos and all my cakes whenever I use edible lace will be in my description down below. So basically what you need is these mats. So these mats are very, very thin and they can only be used with that kind of product. Like you can't put fondant on here. You won't get all these details right here. Okay, and what I like about this is that it literally goes inside each creases and you get that really nice effect. And I always do a baking for a little bit and then I leave it on the tray and I leave it there overnight so it air dries because you'll see even if you bake it, it will always be a little bit tacky, uh, sticky and it won't be ready. So if you try to peel it right there, it, it's just going to rip off. Some people like continue baking and baking it, but what happens is that when you do that, it's gonna bake all the way around and it's gonna get hard. And then in the middle, it will be like wet and mushy. And when you'll be ready to like remove your mat, what's gonna happen is that you're going to remove it. But when, once you get to the middle part, it's just gonna rip off. So you don't want that. So what I would suggest is that you spread your first coat, then you bake it. Once that's finished, you do a second coat, you bake it again. And then once that's done, leave it at room temperature until at the touch of your fingers, everything, including the middle, is dry. And then you can go ahead and then gently remove it. Don't go, just <laughs> gently remove it. What I like about this recipe that I've been using for years and years and years is that it's malleable. Uh, you can cut it, you can glue it, you can paint it. I mean, I love this recipe. You can, um, I did it white, but you can airbrush it in gold. No problem with that. You can also, when you're doing your mix, you can add your gel food coloring right there and there or liquid also, it works very well. So really it's, you can paint it afterwards also, no problem with that also. So it's, I really, really, really like the recipe. And that's about it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you haven't done it yet, don't forget to subscribe, click notification bell button and comment down below. I wish you all an amazing week and I'll see you in the next one.